guys welcome back to my channel so today i am doing a video on this for the stamping mode so you've probably seen this on instagram or facebook so basically it is similar to a stamping plate but not so this is a normal stamping plate so you put your paint on pick it up using your jelly stamper and then roll it onto the nail and this one is the 4D one version so you can see how skinny that is that is really thin so obviously you've got your imprints there so I've had a little play with this and I've got to say it's not as easy as it looks so this is what I did earlier on so getting it up to that cuticle nice and neat is so hard but I'm gonna have another go on camera so just so that you know what I've got, I've got my 4D gel, I've got some gel wipe, I've got a little brush and a spatula and that is what I am going to use. Okay, so I've just got my spatula and I'm going to take some out of the pot. Basically, you place it on and then you have to press it down. So you've got to be really careful near that cuticle because it does start going bumpy. So I'm just going to try and get that neat near that cuticle and then just start flattening that out. So they show you on a nail tip, which I think would be that on my lid. A lot easier if you didn't have the all the skin around the nail. That is why that one was so much easier to do than a full nail. But I just want to have another go. As I've said before, I don't mind failing while I'm videoing myself because everybody makes mistakes and they're all we're always learning. Okay, so. This is time consuming for me. It's not like the other stamping where it's like, put it on and that's it, you're good to go. It is a pain in the butt. My breathing's bad and all guys today. My asthma's playing up so I'm breathing a bit heavy. Okay. So try and get it down to them sides as well so that's it to start with right so this morning when i were doing this one i were laying it on the nails here and i were laying it on and rolling it like that so this time i'm gonna try it so if your clients sat opposite you there so just ask them to turn their hand over and i'm gonna try it this way okay i'm gonna let me see which one shall we use I used that one this morning, so I'm going to go for the roses, which is this one, because these are tiny. And I want to see if it'll pick up. So I'm just going to put... I don't like that one. That's not good. Let's pick a better powder to fill that in with. Yes, gold. Yeah, let's have a bit of gold. So I've just got to get the last better. And we'll put some gold in there. Just put that to the side. So, like I said, this morning I was just laying it on and then rubbing it like that. So this morning, so now I'm going to try it another way. So say your clients there, I'm if I'm going to try it so that you ask your client to turn their hands round. So measure. I'm going to do it near the cuticle. So put it on, and then I have to say roll it, like if you're in police station. It's still white, not on my phone. So I'm going to do it again on that tip area. So I would 
get them to roll their finger. So it has but it's not, it's not perfect. Let's flatten it out again. Don't matter about that pigment. I'm going to try it like I did this morning, see if that helps. Right. So this morning I was putting that on and I was pressing it. I was holding it and then just pressing it in like that. So let's see what happens to that one. So you can see that's got a lot bigger dints in it. Put your finger on under there, place it on, and then just roll it with your finger. That's how I were doing it this morning. So I'm just going to use my fingers just to neaten that edge back up. So you can see the imprint. Let's just bob that into the lamp to cure that and see what we are left with. So when it comes to cleaning these, I do not want to clean out. You probably have to soap and water these to get that pigment out. Okay. So I do think it's easier to actually place it on top of the nail. I don't know if a client, if they did it themselves, they could get a bit more pressure. But on that, I just can't get the pressure with the tip because it moves. So that is easier for me on that. But I think if it were a client and you could roll it good, it'd probably be easier on some flat where you can roll it. Like I says, like having your fingerprints taken from what I've seen on telly. Okay. So, I can't really see that pattern too well. So, I'm going to go in with this pigment and I'm going to rub that in on top of this design as it is now. A little brush and I'm just going to take a top coat so the thing with top coats is if you put too much on this now it is going to fill all your little crevices in so I'm going to go over with a nice even coat just to make sure that that powder is not going to move and then I'm just going to come down and just go both ways to remove any that's puddling inside that design so I'll just leave that there and bump that under the lamp again so because i've done powder i'm just going to clean my brush off just so that you can see that there it don't go back in into my pot and while that's curing i will tidy my mess up Away. and everything else can get put away apart from the lid on the opposite side of this because it's flown across the room so you can actually see the design on this one but this is one of the chunky ones the one that I've just done is a lot finer this is design so I don't know if the smaller ones are harder to see or what not but that 
put the other one up as well just so you can see the difference so this gold one is a lot shallower in the design the one this one is a lot deeper but i think that is just the patterns because if you rub your hand on them the both you can feel the patterns it's just i think this one's a bit of a deeper pattern but i'm not a gel person to start with so I'm not sure what I think of them. I think I might need a little bit more practice, but if you want in a quick design, other than putting the gel on, which is a pain, or you you want some intricate, I can't say that word, some delicate detail work on your nails, then this is perfect. But do it do put a little bit of time onto your set of nails as the applying the gel is a bit longer than I'd like it. It's just okay. So that is the nails done, guys. So that is the new 4D stamping mold but i am going to have a play about with this and i'm going to see if i can figure out how to get it better but i just wanted to give you a bit of a giggle and show you that summer has finally beaten me i am not perfect with this but i'll keep trying so thanks for watching guys and i will see you soon bye